Hey everyone, welcome back to my Noob to Pro Israel Tech Grind series. This commentary has been added post recording. If you prefer a non commentary version, click on the card above. Leaving a comment with any tips on how to improve my gameplay is highly appreciated. Do you have a preferred game mode? I find that both arcade and realistic battles have their own ups and downs. Arcade is much more fast paced. You get to the action quickly, you have an aim guide for your crosshair, and you can respawn multiple times. Realistic battles, on the other hand, have more at stake. The first half of the round is preparing and positioning, so it takes a bit more time to get to the action. There are no aim guides for the crosshair, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It makes shooting down players all the more satisfying. If they unalive you, though, you have to wait some time again to get to the enemy team and the objective in the new battle. Personally, I enjoy both modes. Arcade gives me an idea of how much leading I should have on my shots, while realistic lets me put that into practice. The training wheels gotta come off sometime. Please leave a like if you like this content, or dislike and leave a comment of how I should improve this series. What you like versus dislike, and what you wish was changed. Any and all feedback is highly appreciated. I probably could have gotten this player if I positioned myself a bit better. Fear not, however, a teammate saved me when I was just about to line up behind them and stole the point from me. This was such a close call. I should have changed the direction. Surviving was just pure luck. Missile hits are fun and all, but they just don't give the same satisfaction as the gun hits. Have any of you tried the simulation battles? I used to play a bit of War Thunder back in 2015. I came back to it only recently. And in all of my time playing, I haven't played even a single simulation battle. I feel like it would be realistic mode on steroids. So please let me know if you would enjoy seeing videos on this battle mode. I should have led my shots a bit more here. In video number 7 in this series, I respawned with the Spitfire LF Mark IX E Wisemans. I initially expected to get my life ended in minutes. The plane is pretty slow and has no countermeasures. However, the high maneuverability of the plane made playing with it really fun. I could outturn most of the higher rank planes. Let's all appreciate this double hit for a second, even if it was just on bots. Regarding the Spitfire Wisemans, I think it's low rank and the good handling caught people off guard. This is a recurring and generally applying concept in gaming, and possibly life in general. In TF2, Unusuals and cosmetics give off the first impression of the skill of the player, and how many hours they have in the game. So, the experienced players mask their skill by equipping the Ghastly Gibus, which is the first achievement cosmetics you get in the game. To finish off this tangent, there are two quotes in the The Art of War by Sun Tzu, which was written as a strategic handbook for how to navigate military conflict. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, 
When we are able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our forces, we must appear inactive. When we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away. When far away, we must make him believe we are near. And the second one is, if your enemy is secure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. If your opponent is temperamental, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. If he is taking his ease, give him no rest. If his forces are united, separate them. If sovereign and subject are in accord, put division between them. Attack him where he is unprepared. Appear where you are not expected. If you know your War Thunder tactics, you can easily see how this is applicable in many cases. Please let me know if you would be interested in seeing a video of going in this in detail, of how the art of war specifically applies to War Thunder. I'm not really concerned about my bad aim, with time it will improve. My main concern is the amount of research I have to do on the different nations and their planes, so please let me know in the comments below if you would enjoy a series where I focus on a single plane per video, on every plane in the nation. This would be a long-term project if enough people are interested, and it might be fun to take a step back and play through each battle rank while doing the research. It's that time in the round again, where focusing on ground targets is a good idea. I usually haven't focused on them right from the start, though in a future video, I'll be picking up some of the bombs as previously mentioned. We'll see how it goes. Note to self, you need missiles for the pillboxes. Just checking real quick how many players are left. Look at me. I am the point thief now. Yeah, um, I don't think I can do much to them, just with the guns.
Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.